we all leave our mark on the world, on the earth, in the people we contact, in the people we associate with. We are all leaving our mark. We will be remembered, we will be thought of, we will be seen as, who do you want to be seen as? So when you leave your footprint, and you've heard this song, and I believe there's a poem out, it's a footprint to, that Jesus will follow, carry you, I can't remember the exact one now, but it is important that you look and see exactly what your footprint is saying about you i'm just putting a little heart here for you because i appreciate you there we go and your footprint to success so whatever footprint you are leaving in the world in your market what what you're doing so your footprint to success are actually the footprints of success so meaning as you're on your path and you are going along and you're creating and you're meeting your goals and you're forming good habits and you're choosing how to behave and you're discipline yourself you've done these things and we've gone over this for the last year now almost I know, isn't it crazy how time goes by so fast? Time just slides by because in the vibrational world, I should say, there is no such thing as time because time is infinite. So, but in the reality world where we are, it's every minute counts. Every second of our day is a gift. And what we do with those minutes, those seconds, determines the footprint we leave. So look at this in a way, like I said, you've already done these things that, you know, we've talked about and we've gone over. And anyone here on my team that we are connected this way, we have formed good habits that are not only letting us see the rewards of our progress of our benefit of our mindset i should say there's just so many ways to express this that i just can't get them into simple little words because it's so amazing but we've all chosen to behave a certain way to be the leader to be the person that drives forward no matter what early mornings late nights it doesn't matter because we are driven and that is part of discipline. And we've all disciplined ourselves to pay it forward, to give more than we receive, to always leave a seminar or whatever we're doing better than when we, when we arrived. So meaning that for me, I can tell, say this specifically for myself, is whenever I'm speaking to a group or speaking to multiple people, you know, a lot of people I always strive to do my very very best and to give as much knowledge and as much information to help each person out there to grow and to be that success and to have their footprints of success be theirs and theirs alone so when I do this I know that these people and you may have been one of them have paid a lot of money to come and hear me speak amongst others. To hear me speak and to hear the information and the knowledge that I am giving them. So I always give more than what is expected. I always believe in paying it forward more and more and more. So what I've learned over the years is we all have what we consider an enemy, someone that is holding us back, someone that doesn't want us to succeed, someone that is afraid that they're, we're going to get better than them. There's always, there's someone, right? Think about this. When I learned years ago that my biggest enemy, my 
biggest enemy. This is the enemy that is above all enemies was holding me down. This enemy was getting in my way. They were stopping me at every track. They were stopping me at every turn. I knew I had to confront this enemy. Because this one enemy was going to get in my way forever if I didn't stop her. Or him. Could be either or. So when I found my enemy, this is my enemy, you have your own. When I found my enemy, oh, eye opener, it's me. You are your biggest enemy. We each are our biggest enemy. We have the subconscious that's in the background, which is always working. We have the conscious mind, which is the creative mind, which will work 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 and then that little bitty thing comes in and says well you can't do that you can't have that what are you thinking so when i learned that i was my biggest enemy i had to learn how to get out of my own way how to stop myself from doing that because i want and at the time i was not in the mindset i was always in a mindset to succeed and i always have in a way but i was also in a mindset of if i'm in my own way who's gonna get me out of my way who's going to move me and i learned it was my habit it was my habit that was getting in the way of my dream which one of my biggest dreams and i've succeeded and, and completed this dream was to be able to get on a stage and speak to people and get paid for being me. Get paid for being the person I am who gives value and knowledge and is there to help as many people as I can. And when I learned to get out of my own path, to learn to get over my stage fright and to get over, you know, did I give enough value? Did I help enough people? And when I learned, and you can learn this too, and you probably already have, is to step out of your own path when you're focused on creating your dream. And when you step out of your own path, you take the action steps needed by saying, I don't want to be that person anymore. I don't want to have those people or that magnetism attracting the wrong people to me and how bad do I actually want financial freedom when you can answer the questions for yourself because your habits today your habits right now the habits you have will drastically develop the effects you have on your future so as you are going through your day and, and it's getting close to the end of the year and there's a lot of us out there who are struggling who are, are just haven't made it they haven't made their goals yet and I always say yet because there's always a way there's always a system there's always a strategy there's always that one thing that when you step out of your own path and say you know what that's it I am going to learn how to do this once and for all. I'm going to take my financial freedom in my own hands. I will not be my own enemy anymore. Because my footprint is of success. It's not to success. My footprint, as I was getting there, the footprint and the struggles I had and the successes I had, and the same for you, the successes you have along the way, that is your footprint on what you learned, what you did. And if you're keeping a journal, you can see your footprint and what you're doing that is successful and what you're doing to make it amazing for you. As you are journaling, write in your ups and downs, your challenges, and what you did to overcome these challenges. These are all part of your footprint. And you're going to see 
if you are anything like what I've done over the years, I've oh, I've got so many journals, it's just boxes full of them. I had to take them all off my bookcase because I had so many. Um, you're going to see the progress you've made, and you're going to see the footprint you've left. You're going to see the success you are giving. Like I said, getting on stage and talking to people and being you. If that's what you dream of, then by all means, do it. Get out there. Surround yourself with people who will affect the bright side of you, who will encourage you, who will inspire you to be, do, and have the lifestyle you want. To be, do, and have your footprints of success be there. For others to follow when you do this you will find that you will get financial freedom take advantage of the systems out there take advantage of attracting the right people to you take advantage of an offer that comes to you when it comes to you the biggest thing i could say is i had an offer come to me this was several years back which is one that changed my life. And I was hee-hawing about it. I kept getting a email about it. And I learned it was part of email marketing. And I thought, oh, this is not for me. This is just, this is going to be too easy. It's just, it's going to be too much. It's just, I can't afford that. I had all these things running through my head. Then the one day I got the, I got at the email again. It was just worded a little differently. And I said, oh, heck, I don't really swear. So I said, oh, heck, I'm doing this. I'm, I'm, I'm all in. I'm all in. As soon as I said that to myself, I'm all in. I bought the course. I bought it. I got the training. Boom. I am where I am today because I wasn't afraid anymore to step in my own way and to let myself, my own enemy in myself, get in the way. I encourage you to do the same in that respect as be that person that is stepping out of your own path. Be that person who is being that way and having that confidence to get in there, get it done, and show the rest of the world how great you are. So... I encourage you all, don't be discouraged if you haven't met your goals all that this year. You've got a few weeks left. You can at least get started on meeting those goals. You can at least get started. If you haven't, if you're just struggling, don't you think it's time to stop struggling and start doing? It's your choice. Everything you do, everything I teach you is your choice, whether you implement it or not. So I encourage you to get out there and let your light shine. Let your light shine big and bright and know that you have a footprint to the success. You have a footprint along the way, but then you have the footprint of success. They're two different. So I encourage you to keep going. Don't give up and get out of your own way. Okay? I hope you take this to heart and let me know what I can do to help you. I am here. I'm not on social media ever so much, but message me and we will get back to you. Okay. It's very important that you get the steps you need. I do have a, actually an awesome training up here for you. If you're struggling to get yourself going, if you're struggling to get leads, if you're struggling to maybe have a system that really works and a way to do it here's one and it works you can't go wrong when something works and there's hundreds of people we're all using this system which is why i can share it with you with good heart because i use it and i know hundred other hundreds of other people on my team are using it and it's all about success and it's all about you so i encourage you to subscribe to our youtube channel Okay, and I am blessed to have you on my team. Thank you so much for everyone out there.
who has joined me and together we are all rocking this planet. Thank you so much.